Hey guys, so for this video, I will be explaining the mechanics and skill rotation of boss 2 um, in Avalon Forest Lilac. So, there's four phases in the fight where her skill rotation changes. Um, I'll go through them as the, the video goes on. Um, so for the first phase, we're going to have, or her skill rotation is going to be um, Heavenly Horn, Diffusion, Myriad Beams. Okay, so her first skill, Heavenly Horn, is just a full screen AoE attack, so it damages everyone. Um, you can't dodge it. Uh, we like to heal after every Heavenly Horn, so call for your priest to heal. Um, that's about it, Heavenly Horn. Uh, the next attack is Diffusion. Um, it's just a giant cone type attack, frontal attack. Uh, it's targeted towards the aggro holder or whoever's tanking. Um, just sidestep it. It does quite a bit of damage, so don't try to tank it. And then third skill is Myriad Beams. Uh, Myriad Beams is just a huge cross attack. Um, it does quite a bit of damage, so you want to dodge this as well. Go back to the boss, the boss, the boss. So the next phase of the fight will start at um, when Lilac hits 90%. When she hits 90%, um, she's going to cast Sword and Feather of Decision which will be on the left and the right of the room. So during this phase, um, depending on where you're standing, you will get a stack of Holy Fire or a stack of Holy Light. So you get a stack of Holy Fire every five seconds if you stand on the sword side. And if you stand on the feather side, you'll get a stack of Holy Light every five seconds. And what you wanna do is you need to watch your debuff stacks and make sure it does not get to five. Once a stack gets all the way to five, Lilac will get a buff. If she gets five, if you get five stacks of Holy Fire, Lilac will get an attack buff. And if someone gets five stacks of Holy Light, she will heal for I would say about five percent, but she's gonna heal. Okay, so you do not want to reach five stacks. The way you avoid reaching five stacks is moving to the other side. So if you're on the feather side and you have three stacks of holy light, you want to move to the sword side. So that buff goes away or that debuff goes away and you get holy fire instead. And then once that gets to three or four, um, you move to the other side. Just don't let your stacks get to five. Okay. <clears throat> so the attack rotation for 90% is going to be Heavenly Horn, Wings of Purity, Holy Flood, Diffusion, Heavenly Horn again, Wings of Purity, and then Myriad Beams. Okay. Um, the new skill in this rotation are Wings of Purity and Holy Flood. So I'll go over those skills here. So when she casts Wings of Purity, everyone will have a red AoE, um, which will activate in about five seconds. What you want to do is spread out so you guys don't stack on each other and take a lot of damage. Seconds. Spread, spread, spread. Okay, so we spread out, and I switch sides for my stacks. So the attack after that is Holy Flood. Someone will get marked with a giant ring. Um, what you guys need to do is share and stand in the AoE so that the damage is divided. So 
we all group up mid and share the damage. Okay, so some people died there, but that's okay. So Heavenly Horn again. So we're doing all this while watching our stacks and switching sides. So for Wings of Purity, we spread out. And then Myriad Beam, uh, make sure to dodge. And constantly watching your stacks up here. So as you can see, I have four stacks of Holy Light here, um, which is getting close. Uh, it does get to five, but Lilac doesn't heal because I switch over like pretty much at the last second so that she can't get the buff. So she so gets the five and then I move over. So her HP stays the same. And then I lose the uh, five stacks. So Holy Flood again. We want to share this. Share. So that's pretty much it until she gets to 60%. Once she gets to 60%, there will be a new attack rotation. So once Lilac hits 60%, the sword and the feather will go away and you guys no longer have to worry about the stacks and the split of the arena. Um, and she'll also start using a new skill rotation. Uh, the skill rotation is gonna be Heavenly Horn, Dual Cross of Light, Holy Flood, Heavenly Horn again, Myriad Beam, Judgment Sword, and Diffusion. And the second variation of that rotation, she'll just swap out Heavenly Horn with Wings of Purity, and then the rest are the same. So, Wings of Purity, Dual Cross of Light, Holy Flood, Heavenly Horn, Myriad Beam, Judgment Sword, and Diffusion. So let's see. The best up, the best up. So for dual cross of light, there will be two players that get the um, a cross above their head. After a few seconds, they will be trapped and the other players need to destroy the cross so that the players can move again. If you guys fail to destroy it, uh, the players that are in the cross will die. So as you can see here, me and the other person can't do anything until our teammates destroy the cross and we can get out. Okay, so we get free. Alright, so the other new skill is Judgment Sword. Um, for Judgment Sword, there will be one person in the party who is marked and they'll get the caption above their head to stay away from the party. So let's see. So we, they're right here, as you can see. Um, it's this person here. I think it's Jangmi for our party. So what Jangmi needs to do is run away from the party and either use an invincibility skill, have um, a heal, and the AOE heal, or just die. Uh, if you don't move it away from the party, everyone's going to take massive damage. Okay, so Jangmi moves away. Uh, she looks like she dies, but that's fine. Wings of Purity, just spread out. Dual Cross of White. Holy Flood, make sure to share it. Uh, in this case, we didn't have one of our priests, so we didn't want to take damage. So Cho, who got the mark for Holy Flood, decided to use an invincibility skill so that none of us had to take damage. So 
So when Lilac hits 40%, there will be another split phase. So she's going to start off with Sword of Decision, Feather of Decision, and then spawn some orbs. I'll explain that in a bit. So her attack rotation will be Heavenly Horn, Dual Cross of Light, Judgment Sword, Myriad Beams, Wings of Purity, Diffusion, Holy Flood, and then ending that rotation with orbs. And then she'll go back to the start with Heavenly Horn again. Okay. The mechanic here, uh, there will be orbs that spawn at 40% as well. Um, the party should assign four people to grab those orbs and kill either the sword or the feather. There will be two dark orbs and two light orbs. The people who get the light orb can damage the sword and the people who get the dark orb can damage the feather. So in this case um, I was assigned the dark orb and I will get the dark orb and kill the feather. So let's go ahead and see that. Get ready for the orb. Get ready for the orb, guys. On corner. Probably have to get uh, Jamie up. Watch for the orb. Uh, I got the dark one. So my party member gets the dark orb, and I get the other dark orb. And then we proceed to kill the feather. Kill the sword, kill the sword, JMP. Get the orb. Uh, don't forget to switch. Don't forget to switch. So while you're killing the feathers and the sword, you have to also manage your stacks up here, okay? So you have to switch sides if you're almost at five. So you generally want to switch when you're at 3 stacks, and then after you clear that, come back and kill the uh, feather or sword. So here we kill the feather. Um, once either the feather or the sword is dead, you will no longer get uh, either the stack of holy fire or holy light. So in this case we kill the feather and you can see my holy light uh, stacks are all gone. Alright, uh, the sword is dead. And the feather is dead. So just be mindful of all the attacks and what's going on. See, when I move into the side with the sword, I immediately get the holy fire stack. Be killed. You have to kill it, guys. You have to kill it, guys. The buff you get from the orb lasts about 30 seconds. So if you can't kill the feather or the orb within 30 seconds, don't worry because you'll spawn more orbs. As you can see here, um, our party member is not doing damage anymore to the sword so we have to wait for another set of orbs to spawn so someone will get the light orb and then proceed to kill the sword so once the sword and feather are gone you no longer have to worry about stacks or the split um, all you need to do is worry about the boss rotation now we're just following the boss rotation, we don't have to worry about any other mechanics. So Judgment Sword, whoever gets it should stay away from the party. If they die, um, the AoE will go away. Wings of Purity, spread out, just don't stack it like those two in the middle. <coughs> Dodge Diffusion. Uh, share the Holy Flood. Share. We just continue fighting. They use Lilac. And then we kill the boss. Yeah, so that's the the lilac fight. 
Um, just to recap, there's four phases of her skill rotation. Uh, the first phase is from 100% to 90%. Her skill rotation will be Heavenly Horn, Diffusion, and Myriad Beams. And then once she hits 90%, she'll go into phase 2 of her skill rotation. After casting Sword and Feather, her rotation will be Heavenly Horn, Wings of Purity, Holy Flood, Diffusion, Heavenly Horn, Wings of Purity, and Myriad Beams. And then she'll repeat that until she goes to the next phase. And the next phase is phase three. Um, at 60%, her rotation will be Heavenly Horn, Dual Cross of Light, Holy Flood, Heavenly Horn again, Myriad Beam, Judgment Sword, and then Diffusion. So there's two variations in that skill rotation at 60%. Um, the only difference is the second attack is going to be either Heavenly Horn or Wings of Purity. And then the rest are going to be the same. So at 40%, it's going to be the last phase where she summons the Feather and the Sword again. And also the Orbs, where the four people will have to get the Orbs and kill the, both the Sword and the Feather. So the... People who get Dark Orb will kill the Feather. People who get the Light Orb will kill the Sword. Make sure to watch your stacks and <clears throat> make sure to watch your stacks during this phase so she doesn't heal or get any buffs to make the fight harder. So be aware and move sides if you need to. Okay? And her attack rotation for this final phase is going to be Heavenly Horn, Dual Cross of Light, Judgment Sword, Myriad Beam, Wings of Purity, Diffusion, Holy Flood, and then she'll spawn another set of orbs. And then she'll go back to Heavenly Horn. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, those are the mechanics for Boss 2 of Avalon Forest, uh, Lilac. Hope this helps you guys uh, clear the dungeon. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye.